YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy, Wavy AD, man. And I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title, today we are going to be doing an updated self cut video. A lot of y'all are here because of this first self cut video, and I appreciate y'all. And in that video, I said I was going to do an updated one eventually, or you know, a more detailed one, or whatever, 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 whatever. And I never did it. So, it's been quite a while, so it's time to do an updated video. As you can see, dreads got longer, you know. Clippers done got updated, you know. Beard done got longer. <laughs> and it's more y'all subscribe to the channel, man. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, so you get a notification every time I drop a new video. My bad, y'all can't see me yet. You know, I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to have an eye to eye experience with y'all. You know, I can't see y'all because my dreads in my face. Huh? This one is going to be a little quicker. A little quicker. We ain't going to do too much rant, too much talking. A lot of people said I was talking a lot. You know, I had to get straight to the point. So, today I'm getting straight to the point. If you need to know anything or any questions, anything like that, drop it down in the comments. I'm going to be answering any of them I can. And also, I'm going to be making a separate video of all the materials you will need to have a great time doing your self cuts so with no further ado let's go ahead and get into the cut all right so first up this step is literally only for the people that got a lot of hair sometimes i let that shit go and it smacked me in my nose but anyways people with long hair, hair you know people like me uh with long dress and everything we got to make sure we keeping them out the way so we're not cutting them off gotta get so that hair put up First step. All right. And the main thing you want to remember is you don't want your head to be pulled back super tight. You know, you want this to be as loose as possible because you don't want to, you know, be lining yourself up and, and be pulling pieces of everything down. So once you got your hair pulled back, you need to brush everything to the front, everything down in the direction that it needs to be cut. This goes for, you know, waivers, for people who got braids, for people who got locks, everybody. Your hair needs to be in the right direction in order to cut it. All right, so after you got everything brushed down, you should see a nice separation between the stuff that you're cutting and the stuff that you're not cutting. You should see like a nice line all the way through like a like a part sort of kind of um and for those who got locks you got to make sure you're not getting super close to your locks because you will knock pieces of your hair off slowly by slowly and then your locks get thinner and thinner and thinner it is happening to me because i know i got a couple locks around here that are getting a little thin um because i am cutting them i am knocking into them but you know sometimes it's unavoidable you know but anyways we already got everything knocked down now it's time to get your clippers. We got our clippers. And this is where kind of you decide how short you want your hair. This is where you kind of got to learn how long your guards is and how long they are. Um, how short they cut them in. So, right now, I got a one and I got the lever open. The lever is open. So, now all we're going to do is come in. From where we started, to from where we uh, parted everything at, and just knock it down. Just like that. And you're gonna do this literally all the way around. Even on the even on your lining. If you can get in there. All right, y'all, for a lot of these steps, once I show y'all, I'm going to go over to the mirror and do it right here because I can't do it right here, but I'm going to come back and show y'all the results. So, like I said, make sure you're coming through. If you got to, use your hand. Use your hand to make sure you're not getting a hold of anything else. And you're literally just going through like you're brushing down uh, your hair. That's literally it. All right, boom. So 
Got everything locked down. As you can see, everything's a little bit lighter. And you gotta remember, you're not really digging into your skin. You're literally just laying the clipper over. I'm a little light, I'm light skinned, so you know, the redness do show a little more. But just know, don't dig in there. Just like, literally just brush it down. But after everything you do, we brushing down. Making sure we brushing everything down. And if you don't got no taper lining or anything like that, you literally just doing this to your taper. But you want if you got a taper lining, this is what you this is how you start off. So boom. After we got that going, now we're gonna start on the taper. Literally, you come through with your liners or your clippers, whatever you want to do, and you're gonna make your, your guide line. This is gonna be your first guide line, it's called your ball line. So I like to do mine even with my ear and I go straight across. Some people like to do round ones, some people like to do triangle ones. But I'm just gonna show you how I do mine, and this is how you do it. So. Boom. And then, what you do to one side, you gotta do the exact same thing to the other side. So. You gotta remember about where you did it at, how far you went down, how high you went up. But boom, it's basically just gonna be literally a ball line. You want this to be as close to your, your, your skin as possible, um, just cause this is where the end of the taper is gonna be. This is where you start your fade and go up darker. All right, so boom. Got our ball line on one side, got our ball line on the other side. They should look damn near the exact same. Because like I said, your taper is going to be the exact same. You're doing the same steps that you're doing on one side on the other. So, now that we got our first lines done, we're going to go ahead and go to our second guideline. Our second guideline, we are going to need our clippers. And we are going to take our guard completely off. The guard is going to be coming completely off. And the most important thing when you're cutting your hair is to make sure you're working this lever the correct way. Because... If you got this lever closed when it's supposed to be open, you're going to have some issues for sure. So, after we create our first line, we're going to do our second line. It's literally your, your clippers with the no guard all the way open. And what you're going to do is you're going to come in. Instead of having your clippers like this, facing down, you're going to use your clippers up. And we're going to literally go in there and go up about... I say probably about a half an inch. And me on this one, I like to round it out. I like to make like a nice rounded taper. Don't go up too high. So if you go up too high, your taper is going to be balder and balder and balder the higher you go. So, take your time. Get your brush. Brush everything down. Just like that. So, I'm going to hit this one just a little bit more because I want it to go up a little higher. So, we got a little bit of scragglers hanging on. Boom. Boom. So, like I said, guidelines are some of the biggest things when you're doing a fade. First guideline, second guideline, and then we're gonna work on this next after I go ahead and hit the other side. Alright, boom. Boo the bang. Bada boom. Some people will feel like it is easier if you do get one of those three-way mirror setups. I'm probably gonna buy another one just to try it again. I had one when I first started cutting my hair, 
it broke and I started just using the mirror. So it's not a need, but if you feel like it's gonna help you better, you definitely can do that. I also got a ring light just so I can see my taper and everything I'm cutting a little better, a little clearer. All right, so next step is going to be our next, I wouldn't say guideline, but technically it is a guideline. So we're gonna take our one guard, the same guard that we use to knock everything down, the same guard we use to knock everything down, we're gonna take the same one, in this case, a number one, in your case, it might be different. You might've used a two, you might've used a 1.5. Whatever guard you use to knock everything down, you're gonna use that same guard. And we're gonna make sure the blade is open. And this time, instead of going the same direction, we're turning the clippers around and we're just flicking out. All the way up to your taper. Like I said, sometimes you need to use your hand as like a protector slash guard for you know hitting all that hair that's up there but as you get better and better you're gonna get better with your clippers and you're gonna be able to use your corner instead of using the whole thing sometimes you just got to use your corner and we're literally just flicking you should be able to hear hair getting cut like there's no hair getting cut right now you can't hear anything but if I go up here, you can hear the little nicks of the hair getting cut. And as you can see, it makes a big difference whether or not you have your clippers facing up or you have them facing down. With the grain, against the grain. Those are terms you gotta learn. So, like I said, after you do everything, you need to go ahead and go through with a brush and knock everything down. So, as you can see, the taper is coming together, the fade is coming together. You still can see your guidelines. You got your bald, you got your two, and the rest of this was that one open. So, I'm gonna go hit the other side and then we'll go from there. Yes, sir. We getting there. We getting there. So, if you need to, pause the video, rewind. Don't rush. Literally just watch what I'm doing and hear what I'm doing. Just don't be doing what I'm doing. Hear what I'm talking about you need to do. So, like I said, after you do everything, brush everything down. This part right here is where you'll get better and better and better as you go. So, now we're gonna work on blending the taper. When I say blending the taper, what I mean is getting rid of this line right here, getting rid of this line right here, giving it a nice blurry fade effect. So, it's gonna go from dark to light to light to light. And to do that, we are going to be using the one guard. We're gonna go one guard halfway close, one guard all the way close. We're even gonna take the guard off we're gonna go to a shorter guard, a 0.5 guard. If you don't have a 0.5 guard, you're just gonna go down to the next shortest guard that you got. And if you don't got a next shortest guard, you're just gonna go to open and you're gonna have to, you know, use that corner and, you know, make some deep and do some detailing. First up, what we're gonna do, throw that one guard on there. And we're gonna move our lever halfway. So you got there's four, so we're gonna go one, two, one, two, halfway. We're gonna take our one, and we're gonna go in there. And the most important thing to do when you're blending is not to go above where you're, where you're gonna uh, leave it dark. So what I mean by that is we're gonna stop right here. Everything else right here, ooh, look at that. I almost just messed up. Everything right here and up, we're gonna keep that that one open. Anything below that, we're knocking that down to the one and the one and halfway open. You might not you might not think it's doing something, but it's definitely doing something.
All right. Next up, we're gonna take it. The one, all the way closed. So the lever is all the way closed. Now this time, you don't wanna go over that point that you were already cutting. All right, get your brush, brush everything down, and boom. You should be seeing that fade come through. That fade should be starting to pop through. This is what we're at right now. This is what we were at. So, you should be able to see it going from that, that dark all the way down to that light. We're not done yet. Once we hit that, we're gonna pop down to our 0.5 guard and we're gonna restart the process all over. 0.5, all the way open. Come through. And we're gonna start about right where we left off. Sometimes you might not feel it do anything, but you still gotta go through those motions just cause it, there could be some pieces of hair in there that still need to get hit. Turn it off. Really, if you want a super blended fade, you will go from here, to here, to here, to here, to closed. But, we're just going from open, halfway, closed, so, now we're gonna go 0.5 halfway. Same thing we've been doing. Point five, all the way closed. All right, so. As you can see, fade is starting to get more and more, more and more fadier. More and more fadier. So, now that we have went through every single lever, every single open, close, open, close, halfway, we are done with the guards. Take your guard completely off. And this is where Shit can get dangerous. Shit can get real dangerous. You're literally gonna take your, your no guard all the way open. And this is where you're gonna start blending like you just did. Not going up too high, but knocking some of those lines out. Like I said, sometimes you need to turn your blade and just use that corner. Just to get rid of some of those lines. Just like that. And like I said, I'm not really doing nothing on this side right now. But what you do to one side, you need to do to the other. There's no, I'm going to do it on this side and not on this side. You need to do the same thing. So everything we're doing on this side, we're going to do on the other side. I'm just not going to show y'all. Because I'm already doing it on one side and you got to do the exact same thing on the other side. <laughs> so, now, when we get to the no guard point, 
I like to hit every single lever. So, now we're going to three fourths. Take that three fourths. Two fourths halfway. One fourth. And then finally, all the way closed. So as you can see, that line is starting to disappear. Our ball line is starting to disappear, which is a good thing. Sometimes you need to go back. Go back to your two forks so you can go up a little higher. All the way open. It's called detailing for a reason. You're not going to be able to do the same thing you do every single time because certain pieces of hair are going to get hit that aren't that you didn't hit the last time the main thing to remember is no matter how hard you try to cut your hair off if the guard or whatever lever you have is open or bigger than down here like no matter what I, can, I do, there's no way I can cut anything with this guard. If I have this all the way open, there's no way I'm cutting anything right here. It's impossible. This guard right here, the 1.5, is not gonna cut anything. It's not gonna cut anything because the guard or the lever, whatever it is, is longer than what's there. So. Learn your guards, learn your guards, learn what you need best for your hair um, and learn, just learn how to detail. So I still gotta do a little bit more detail in here. So I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna show you how to find the result. All right y'all, so almost finished with everything, but I feel like I wanna knock everything down a little bit lower in terms of like my front taper and uh, you know, the tops of up here. So I'm gonna take my 0.5 open and I'm going with the grain, using that hand for a guard. I'm just gonna go through and knock everything down just a little shorter. I have to go a little lower. Yeah, you get the point. Go through, knock everything down just a little lower. And shit, it's almost time for the lineup. Yes, sir. All right, so now we are at one of the most important parts of all, that lineup. As you see, my lining is like crazy. So I got a couple high points. I got a high point right here and like a little one like right here. But 
No need to worry. We still gonna get it crispy. So, once you get everything brushed down, you also can taper your beard as well. You taper your beard the same way you tapered the, uh, the top of your taper. You literally just go the opposite way. So, I'm gonna go ahead and line all that up, you know, separately. So, what we're gonna do is, I got some hold spray right here. Some pump it up, some spritz. Put it on a cotton swab. And we're gonna take our lining and go straight down with it. Act like we brushing it basically. And then before it dries, come through with our brush, brush it down. Just so we can get our lining and everything to stay in place while we're lining it up. All right, everything should be dry now. So now, I'm gonna give it one last little brush. It's time to get the lining started. So, everybody's gonna line the hair up different. You're gonna get your own technique and you're gonna kinda run with it. But me personally, I like to start right in the middle. But, when I say that, I don't go too far up. I might start right here and slowly work my way over. Go back the other way. Slowly work myself over. You know what I mean? But the main thing is you're hitting it and bringing it down. Hitting it, bring 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 it down. Boom. 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 All the way across. Both sides. So, I need a little bit more of a, a mirror to get this done. So, I'll be back whenever I got everything, you know, crispy and lined up. I did forget to mention, whenever you're doing those sidebars, you literally turn your clippers and hit it the same same way you'd hit the front just like that try to create that 90 degree angle right there in that corner but as y'all can see we're getting super crispy we getting there we definitely getting there all right boom as y'all can see we put ourselves on real, real beam effect. Real beam mode. Now, me personally, I do this for fun. Some people, this is what they like. The white chalk. So, Lily, take your pencil. You're just gonna trace. Trace. I'm gonna do this in the mirror. I'll be right back. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only thing I'm missing is a little bit of enhancements, but it's not needed. As you can see, we got the beard all lined up. We got the beard all tapered up. Taper knocked out both sides. I don't taper the back. I actually got it braided up. Hey, man, I had to step outside the end of the vlog, man. Camera had died in the middle of it, so. If you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification bell i don't know if i showed the, the final results but you know here go the final results yes sir yes sir if you got any questions drop them down in the comments man but that's all i got for y'all man make sure y'all join the wave and make sure y'all stay wavy man gang, gang, gang. i am the one the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street